Hi, my name is Rebecca Dixon and I'm the Shrine's duty manager. Across the Shrine's 13 hectare reserve are more than 320 trees dedicated to the memory of Australia's Army regiments, Air Force squadrons, naval vessels, as well as the military units of our allies. They are a living memorial dedicated to the thousands who have served and sacrificed in war, peacekeeping and peacemaking. Today we are visiting the memorial tree dedicated to those who served at RAF Base Sembawang. The Sembawang Association remember the RAAF, RAF and Allied Airmen who served in Malaya, Singapore, Sumatra and Java during the Japanese push through Southeast Asia between 1941 and 1942. The memorial tree is located just outside the Shrine's Visitor Centre courtyard overlooking the Gallipoli Memorial Garden. The tree is a Corymbia maculata or a spotted gum, so called for the mottled pinkish grey or bluish grey bark. Originally it was found in southeast New South Wales, but has since been naturalised across other parts of Australia. Australian airmen began arriving at RAF Sembawang Base at Singapore in July 1940. By mid-1941, the Royal Australian Air Force had four squadrons based there, numbers 1, 8, 21 and 453. They flew Lockheed Hudson bombers, Brewerway and Brewster Buffalo aircraft. Number 1 Squadron was the first Allied Air Squadron to go into action in the Pacific War, one hour before Pearl Harbor was attacked, sinking the troop transport Awazi Zamaru. The base did not survive long against the Japanese push through Southeast Asia. Sembawang was abandoned in December 1941. The squadrons withdrew through the Indonesian islands and continued to attack the enemy, providing protective cover for the Allies. They incurred heavy losses in both lives and planes. By March 1942, they had fallen back to Australia, been captured as prisoners of war, or disbanded due to loss of aircraft and aircrew. An annual service is held at the Shrine on the second Sunday of December each year. This date marks the opening of the Pacific War on the 8th of December 1941. Until recently, the plaque for Sembawang sat low in the ground and very close to the tree, and would often be partly buried by dirt, tan bark or leaves. As part of the Second World War plaque refurbishment project, we had the plaque shifted and raised so that it would continue to identify the memorial tree for years to come. We invite you to explore and learn more about our memorial trees during your next visit to the Shrine. Maps and lists are available in the Shrine Visitor Centre. We look forward to seeing you soon.